Alright, so the next step in my 91 Evo rebuild is to replace the cylinder studs with the later style studs. These have better clamping force and are easier to install. And notice, here's one of my old studs that would have gone in like so with the shoulder toward the top. The problem though is these bottom threads are rolled threads. It's designed for an interference fit in here. So they're notorious for working their way loose and whatnot evidently. Notice on the new ones, the shoulder goes to the bottom. So I'm going to show you how I go about installing these. And the first thing you'll notice in your new studs is that the shoulder side has some red Loctite on there. On the other side, what we're going to do is take a couple of flange 3 8 nuts and a washer and assemble as so. And we're doing this because I don't have a stud in installer tool. If I did, I'd be using that. But I don't, so I have to get creative. And then what you want to do is you want to tighten these up on here and you want them to be really tight. Now the thread locker on mine are, is pretty old. These studs were evidently ordered back in like 2008 according to my local Harley dealership. So I'm going to apply a little extra red lock tight. And then we'll thread them into the hole. So I'm going to be careful not to scratch my piston. So I'm going to hold this. And I always start any bolt I can by hand to ensure no cross threading. Now all I'll do is hold this off of here, hold the piston off, and start tightening my stud down. Go nice and gentle with it, don't bend the stud. Now that I've got it down, I need to torque it to 10 foot pounds. Now, because of the way a torque wrench sits on here, if I try to push like this, I'm actually going to be pushing this stud over and I will bend it. So I have to hold the piston off, support the stud itself, and then start tightening. Alright, now I'll get the piston out the way, hold it over here, put my thumb in between there just to make sure it can't move, and I'm just going to break that connection loose, just like that. Once I've broken that loose, this will come off no problem. Be careful not to drop anything down into your cylinder bores or your case bore. That'd be just silly. Gently set that over there. You can put a piece of, you know, like 3 8 hose over these if you wish. Um, honestly, I just tend to be careful. If you're worried about, you know, if people are going to hit the bike and things like that, and there's going to be any kind of vibration or bouncing, then you might really want to go ahead and put those in there. But, you know, the garage is my area and everybody else stays the hell out of it. So I don't have to worry about that. Clean up our excess red Loctite. Bam! There we go. Now, I am going to let the red Loctite completely dry, which, if I remember correctly, they want you to wait like an hour or four hours or something like that for it fully set before you put any torque on it. The next step is going to be to compress the rings, drop the cylinders on, so I'm going to let it sit overnight and come back to it in the morning.